Uh, yeah, yeah, right, guys and girls, welcome back to another quick video. So my half brother is trying to say because it's ten past one in the morning, he thinks everybody should be awake and all that, uh, staying awake. And also, I've just went downstairs to make my mum a cup of tea at this time in the morning. At uh, actually today it is Monday the twentieth of January, and it's one o nine on my phone right now. And because I went down to make my mum a cup of tea just a minute ago, he accused me of, he goes, eating again. And actually today, I've had one meal today. Well, actually not today, yesterday. I haven't eaten anything yet. I went down to do myself a hot chocolate about five minutes ago, just put on the side. And he actually thinks that basically there's not going to be any food in the fridge for him, even though it's packed out and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I'll be back in a minute. It's showing you guys and girls. Um... Right, because I go downstairs, right, because I go no, downstairs, no, no, I said, no, I said, no, listen, see, you don't, let, see, you, let, you're not even listening, are you? See, guys, you don't even listen. Yeah, you don't listen, you don't listen, do you? I just, no, because you, uh, you thought I was going downstairs to eat every five minutes, right? I don't eat every five minutes, I've had one meal, and that was yesterday yeah. afternoon, yeah. and that was at four o'clock. And you, pr no, what's the matter? Are you frightened that there's no food for you left? Because there's plenty of food downstairs. And no, 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 I know. Oh, what, so no you, th way. no, so you, no, so, well, that's the thing. But you're accusing people going downstairs eating food every five minutes. I see, guys, and then he's laughing, and then he's laughing, and all that, guys. Yeah. I mean, you can't, then that's, um, that's the way he is, though, guys and girls. That's on my front. Yeah, see, and then he claps his hands as well at the same time, and all that. Yeah, that's it. And then um, he thinks everybody's like lazy and stuff because we go to bed early and he stays up till like seven, eight o'clock in the morning. So, and then when I say to him, look, listen, he doesn't listen at all. It's like he, he doesn't comprehend very well and all that. And it's all because basically he, he keeps blaming his mum and all that. His real mother and all that. This is because it's my half brother and stuff. It, the thing is, when we talk to him and we explain to him and we try to explain to him, right, the things he's doing and like annoying people and stuff, I go in there and I said, right, he, he wouldn't give me an answer. And I said to him, look, I said, so you think because I go downstairs every five minutes or something to make my mum a cup of tea, right, because she can't walk downstairs. Right, because of her legs, she's got a Zimmer frame and all that. She can't go downstairs to actually make her own tea. I have to go downstairs. I'm doing everything. Not one of my brothers are doing anything in the house to help at all, at all. And I'm the one that's doing everything. So I'm basically doing like four people's jobs and all that. Then it's kind of sort of like, okay, yes, we could kick him out. But then we've got the bedroom tax and stuff. So you're kind of put in a position, right? Do you keep these idiots in the house or not? Or do you get rid of them and then you have to pay the bedroom tax? And because of the finance, uh, we're in financial sort of things at the moment, it's good finances, because they've stopped my pep at the moment because of me being disabled as well. I'm happy to do everything myself because my mum can't walk. And I also, I've got health problems and stuff, heart problems, and I've got learning difficulties myself, right? They and it is, it, ex well. they expect it all on me and all that. And then they stop my money as well. And then they stop my mum's money as well. Uh, because I'm, of I'm, I'm, I'm nearly 70. Yeah, because she's nearly 70. She's 69 this year in, in February, so, uh, of this February. So it's kind of putting this, like, sort of, okay, we could get rid of them. Uh, we'll get rid of the one bloke, anyway, uh, the one brother because i don't even know if he is my brother or not a dna test but they cost a fortune that's about just yeah yeah uh well that's the one he was just a minute ago there and then we've got my alcoholic one and stuff it just drinks a lot all day and stuff it and then and then just tells everybody like uh about it on the internet and stuff it tells me when I go to the toilet. and then tells my mom uh tells everybody that like, my mum's going to the toilet when she's supposed to go like in a normal place and all that so it kind of puts us in this sort of um this limbo, stuck in limbo, basically. I mean, would you like um, everybody on the internet to know when mm. you're going to the toilet? Uh, well, yeah, we put it on every five minutes and stuff. But then it's because my mum's diabetic, right? She's got to go to the toilet quite often now. 
And because like uh, we've got to go to the doctors in a couple of weeks to do a diabetes test and all of that, it's sort of kind of got problems. yeah. Because my mum's got problems, but I also got problems as well. Um, last year, actually, about two years ago, I had a panic attack and stuff, um, and that kind of puts it in because I'm put, it's putting the pressure on me as well because I'm doing everything else and I don't get any help. And I don't expect my mum to do it because she's in her 70s. Like, well, she'll be 70 soon next year in 2021. So I'm I'm literally on like a standpoint at the moment. A standpoint of like, look, I can comprehend what my brother is not trying to do, right? He's just trying to piss people off in the house. Uh, both of them are doing the same, right? They're both doing the same. But one, he just like, he's got um, like mental health problems with drinking and stuff. And I get it, but then as he doesn't have to put it onto everybody else in the house. And then I've got my like other brother who's got mental health problems as well. But his is like sort of violent stuff. So he gets angry and pissed off at everybody and stuff. If you just say one word to him, he'll like, la, 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 it's all crazy. It'd be the hell out of, hell out of everybody. So, and then as, if we got rid of both and all that at the house, right? Then we're paying bedroom tax for it. And yes, guys and girls, even if you are disabled, you're not exempt from it. You're not exempt from the bedroom tax because uh, there's like circumstances which um, put it on. Oh, so yeah. then you pay rent. And yeah, then you pay rent. And oh, yeah, and okay, yeah, you could say put us in a two bedroom house, right? But you still got to pay. But you still got to pay uh, rent, all this gas and all yeah, that electric. Tax. And it's like, obviously, that's all the tax normal bills tax. you pay. Uh, council tax and all of that but then is it's it's just getting really flipping crazy now guys and girls it's like getting to the point like oh it's just like i'm gonna literally like blow a head gasket soon and all that it's just like i'm doing my best i'm doing my best and this is all i'm doing is my best but i don't get any help at all on it and okay the people have said to us look we could come in help and all that kind of stuff but i don't want them helping me I want to do it myself. I know it's all the stress on me and stuff, but it's kind of sort of. It feels like there's everything's caving in on at once and all that. If you guys and girls know what I mean. And they would they wouldn't do as well social. Yeah, and they, and they, they wouldn't. Yeah, they wouldn't do. They said to get the social services involved, but the thing is, for adults and stuff, they don't care nowadays. I mean, they didn't even care about. I was reading up on the internet about this uh, child being abused by their parents and stuff who died. And they, they don't give a hell about anybody. And then it's a bit too late by the time they actually do something about it. It's way too late. But anyway, I think it's a little bit out of sync or something. It's, I think it's... Uh... Anyway, guys and girls, I'm going to finish off this episode here. So cheers for watching. Stay safe all. And I'll see you on the next episode.